Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. So right now we're in the uh, sort of holding pattern of trying to get a claim on something. We will have a Diwali feast, just because, you know, it'd be good to... Holy crap, there's not a lot of known plots. Um, it'd be good to, uh... To do. <laughs> Sorry, I can't... My brain is just broken, apparently. It'll be good so we get the karma. That's what I'm trying to say. Let's do that. We'll have a Diwali feast. The next thing I want to do is build up my uh, my gold reserves. And we will definitely... Are we still lovers? Me and my wife? We are still lovers. So I will not get her the fancy... The fancy smanchy stuff. Last time we murdered our son. The goal there was to uh, try to get a better son. My grandfather. Interesting. Oh, she's happy with her gift. Fantastic. And we got the karma that we needed to do nothing. I mean, karma doesn't help us anymore. There's no real point in having it at this stage. We can't uh, go on a Diwali feast or anything like that. Oh, I can declare war for this piece of land, though, if I remember correctly. Yes, we will claim this land for us. Um, actually, we can't claim it for anybody who matters. Just seeing if we can declare war on anybody else. We can't. We can always declare war on this guy, but I believe we have a truce. We have a truce. Somebody wants to see somebody dead. No one ever not doesn't want to see people dead. Alright, so we have a truce with Bihar, Gouda, this guy until this year, actually, very soon. Let's get our forces ready to uh, declare war on Gouda and take his land. Otherwise, I don't think we have anything else. Neither of these are good for us. Raja Kumar of Bihar. Yeah, that's not good for us. You have... I don't have any way to declare war on any of these other people. So hopefully we can get some claims here. You goddamn kidding me. Why are you always causing me problems? I really want to assassinate. Oh, holy crap, I can't assassinate this guy. Let's do it. <laughs> I want to murder this guy. Stumbled over, uh, I say something cynical, and my marshal reacts to my cynical comments. And he doesn't like me, neither does everybody else for a little bit. Next thing, do you have any allies? Yes, two Thackers, not too worried about it. I wonder how you actually say this, why not Thacker? It's probably like Thacker or Thacker. Thacker. We do put strange stress on, uh... On... Sorry, we do put strange stress on a uh, things in the United States on words. Most uh, certain people will stress in other ways. Actually, a really interesting article I was reading about uh, stress and you know how we say controversy and uh, at least some British people say controversy. That's a different way of stressing that. And then of course there's always the classic. Uh, wow, I'm doing really well murdering people. There's always the classic uh, aluminium. Aluminum, although those are actually spelled slightly differently, so that's cool. This guy did not inherit his claim. That's really good. He's got too much land, though. If I retract Vassalage, you're gonna, everyone's going to hate me. Yeah, all my other vassals will hate me. I need him to do something. He's the leader of a plot or something like that. No. And everyone will hate us. Oh, and he called these two guys into the war. Good for him. The war's over. Oh, I'll go crush your friends. I'm glad you called them in. <laughs> so they can get crushed. Oh, for a second I thought our flank had totally collapsed, but it was theirs. Defenders are always on the bottom, attackers are always on top. If you were unaware, our middle did collapse, though. 
We still won the battle, but that was interesting that our middle collapsed. Now we play ping pong. Oh, f for whatever reason, we retreated. I don't get what just happened there, but... But then we still possibly won. I don't know what just happened. Or maybe we were the defenders and we didn't win and the game got confused when they were trying to retreat and didn't actually retreat. And why is there... Oh. There's a thousand men from Magda up here from these guys that we're at war with as well. But I don't think that's going to matter anymore. I think this war is pretty much over. If you guys disagree and think this war isn't over, please tell me. But I think this war is clearly over. Can we do... What else can we do? We can't build a retinue at all. Alright, who is your heir? Where are you? And who... Which, which piece of land is that? You are the ruler of this piece of land right here. A range of betrothal. How old are you? You're 13. You're almost old enough. And I will betroth you off. Possibly my daughter will matrilineally? No. This would give me an alliance with what? Just that guy. Um, no. Well, in that case, we're going to arrange a different patrol. In a few... In a few... In some period of time, we're going to arrange a patrol. First, I'm going to have to invite some people to court before I arrange the patrol. I really want to take this guy's land. I want to revoke this guy's title. Everyone will hate me by 20. don't really care that much. When I get older, once I hit about 50 or 55, I think I'm going to do it. This guy's way too powerful. Plus, he'll stir up the pot. Nothing like stirring up the pot. Now, my son. He is too. Yeah. Next question. Do you have any uh, children? Who are you? You do have a bunch of heirs. Nobody likes you either. No one likes your family, dude. Well, we've won the war for our, our piece of territory. That should have been ours. Thank you. Now let us look at Dijer Duchy so I can s fix some of this crap. So this is supposed to be Gouda up here. You are the Duke of Gouda. So congratulations. Uh, where's Gouda? Are you already in this guy's duchy? Am I just an idiot? No, I, you're my direct liege. I mean, you're my direct vassal. Jintendranayan. Grant landed title. Or no, not grant landed title. Transfer vassal. That's what I was doing wrong. There we go. Bye bye. Resign everybody. Just to get rid of that. Alright, next thing. Are you, who is your liege? That guy, who's your lead? That's fine. I'm your lead. Congratulations. Um, this guy should be yours. He is now. I don't like it when these things are all screwed up. Now this guy is elsewhere, so we're not actually going to do anything about that. Plus this guy's in this guy's court. Otherwise I think we got it pretty good, I think. Just need to fix these these ones up here. And that probably costs us a little bit of men. Or may have benefited us from making that vassal like us more. Oh, I should check to see who's in prison. Can I ransom anybody? I can for 10 Gs. And then let's look at the factions again. No, no factions. They must have just disbanded. And this is the guy we need to worry about. What is going on down here?
there's a there's a revolt going on down here, and I think the revolters are gonna win. Meanwhile, you are 14. We're going to uh, spend a decent amount of money to present a de debutante. Then I'm gonna marry you off to the debutante. This girl, she just showed up. She's not bad. She's content. You want a better alliance? <laughs> no, he will not um, come to me. Interesting. I can't even revoke his title. Interesting. This is part of the kingdom of this thing. Does this kingdom exist? No. Interesting. Interesting. Can we declare war on anybody else? Nope. 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 Yep. But not for anything good. Not for anything good. Come on, there we go. This is our vassal, he's the super powerful one. But we can claim this for him. Did my daughter just die or did this guy just die? Educate child, yeah, he just died. So let's see who doesn't like us. Oh, that's a revolt leader, don't care. I'm going to take your land later anyways, but for now I will uh, do that. I am going to press this guy's claim, just because... Why not? <laughs> yeah, it's going to make him a little stronger in the short term. But in the... This will help us reach our goal faster. And that's all that matters right now. Just in case that guy's big allies, because I didn't check, we're going to raise up all our forces. Let's go, foot soldiers, let's go. These are huge armies that these guys have. Are these their base armies, or did they hire mercenaries? I feel like they had to have hired mercenaries. The revolt hired mercenaries. Nobody else has hired mercenaries. My courtier wants to, uh, to bang. We're not banging. Who are you declaring war on? Are you just joining in because you want to take part in this? Not the Somebody just died. The, the, the Raj at the Bana Raj just died. Make sure I'm not leading any armies. I am. Shouldn't be leading any armies now. What, did you hire mercenaries? Just a brief pause. Did you hire mercenaries? No, so where the hell did your 4,000 dudes come from? I still should have no problem winning this battle. There's a river crossing. There's apparently a river crossing here. There's no river crossing here, so we're gonna actually have to do this. We're gonna move our chancellor as well somewhere else. Um, that was probably stupid. Because <laughs> we're going to have a truce time right here. I don't want to be wasting my time. Now, the other thing we should check right before we go in here is these are planes. There'll be no defensive bonuses. And somebody needs a guardian. Educate this child if somebody doesn't like us. That guy it doesn't matter. I want our... This guy. Congratulations. We're actually this battle is actually not going as swimmingly as it could go. Who wants to kill who? None of these people matter. I don't care if this guy dies. I was hoping for it was this guy, so I had a righteous reason to imprison him and then I could uh, 
steal his his uh, titles. But we'll see. I don't think that's going to happen. A priest from the local temple has arrived, asking to speak with me. My lord, holy elephants. <laughs> Sorry. That shouldn't be funny. At the temple are all sick. However, we have learned that there is a healer in the neighborhood. However, he is the most expensive. How unfortunate for you. Or, here's the money. Here's the money. We'll go uh, siege the... Uh... So, apparently Tangri, Tangri has reformed and can now have great holy wars. Let's just pause ever so briefly and look what the hell's going on out here. Surprisingly, this isn't that crazy. Italy's blobbed a little bit. Probably just through inheritance, though, because these are all, uh, whatchamacallits. Finland's farmed. Carlings is what I'm trying to say over here. Finland's farmed, that's interesting. And Ireland actually appears to be, uh, or Tara of Ireland appears to be expanding onto the British mainland. Or Mainland is an interesting thing to say for an island. But you all get what I'm trying to say. And the answer is, this guy seems to have gotten involved in that war down in the south. Let us win this siege. We've actually probably just, uh... Yeah, we're actually going to, um... Assault. Normally I wouldn't assault, but we have good enough odds, and it will win the war for us immediately. Ta-da! We've won the war. This guy will like us more now. Yep, he loves us because we oppressed his claim, which will make it a lot easier to take his ship back. Anyway, I think uh, we're gonna we'll play for a little bit longer. Maybe go on a tiger hunt. I haven't had one of those in a while. Yeah, let's do a tiger hunt. I haven't done that in a while. We're also gonna build something. And, uh, there's some sort of, uh, revolt war going on over here, so we'll let that play out. But first, like I said, we will go on this tiger hunt, and we're also going to... What did I just say? Oh, build something. You can see how short-term my memory is. Light cavalry. Um, no, they're doing pretty good. How about over here? You need something built. Barracks, militia training ground will give us the most units, and maybe barracks next. Gotta get our, some of our other things into good order. Alright guys, here we go, tiger hunt time. I believe we're currently even in the tiger hunts. Oh, they imprisoned somebody and so the war ended. The Raja Vengi won. Interesting. I like the all red flag. Oh, Tigers are taking the lead, I believe, in the uh, the current score of Tigers vs. Kalingas. And it's just as soon as we took this land, these guys just absorbed it. Who do you want to fight? You want to fight my cousin. Unfortunately, um... What does this do, actually? Wait, did nothing, I mean, he was a mayor, like, i confused, did that do anything? Very confused. Can we do any interesting plots? No, just revoke shit from people. Yeah, somebody's upset that we take too many risks. This is uh, the Sin Raj. What a name, by the way. The Sin Raj. So we can revoke possibly uh, Kolpara, Rajrapa. No, I don't want to do that, but we could possibly do it. Um, this land, this land, I think. And this, basically nothing that should be in is Azure land. I wish I could revoke this land. But I can't. And now somebody wants to kill somebody else. It only matters to me if they're a person of importance and they're not. And we have just a ton of people in prison. Get the hell out of here. I don't give a crap about you. Go away. Like, no one wants to pay for you. 
I don't know why. Because they don't like you. Yeah, they, no one cares about you guys. Just get the fuck out of here. Except for you. You were the leader of that... No, you wasn't. I think I just released the leader of, uh... Of one of my things. Can I execute you for free? Yeah. I don't know what you were in prison for, but... 20 years and you just got killed. I mean, it's pretty, kind of like real-life prison. Anyway, that's where we're going to end this episode. Murder somebody by cutting off their head. And on the next episode, hopefully we'll get a claim on something. Any of the uh, territories that we're going to need to form this empire. We're close, but... But we're not. <laughs> we currently control 63%. We need 80%, which I believe is around 50 territories. So, uh, it's still going to be a while. Definitely going to be a while. I don't think we'll be able to do it in this emperor's lifetime but we'll see we will see anyway thank you guys very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this episode i've had a great time so far and i really hope to see you guys on the next one